Hello guys, welcome to the second tutorial on Unix shell scripting and this tutorial we will see more about variables. The variables are used for storing some temporary values. So how to define a variable and we will see the certain rules. So the variable name should start with an alphabet. It should not start with a numeric value. When we assign a value to a variable, you should not leave space in assignment operation. So the variables are definitely case sensitive and also don't use any special character in variable name. So the value in a variable can be accessed prefixing dollar symbol. Now let's move to the lab and uh, first we will uh, see some example here. So for example, I'm going to define a variable abc equal to 100. So here I use the variable abc and assignment operator and value here so the value 100 I am assigning to this variable so how to access this value so I can use echo command for just printing so value in ABC is I can use dollar ABC to print that value so here you can see so this dollar ABC is resolved to 100 and uh, so it should the variable name should start with a uh, alphabet it should not start with a number so it can be a lowercase or uppercase combination see equal to 200 so if i use echo dollar capital abc so this is 200 and abc is 100 so that means the variables are case sensitive so you can use uppercase as well as the lowercase separately so even though the same characters are there then upper and lower case makes difference and also say for example let me define a variable to x y z or something equal to 100 see that is failing because it should not start with a numeric value also i cannot start with a special uh, characters like hash abc equal to 100 because it, it will not throw any error the reason is the hash means it will treat that as comment okay and uh, so these are the few things that you need to do and assignment operation so that is also very uh, sensitive say for example i have a variable def equal to 300 so in other programming language you can see this space is okay but here in unix shell script so this space is not okay so you should not leave this space say so that is also not okay so assignment variable assignment operator and then value so there is no space in between and we have seen how to extract or how to get the value from the variable so i'm just using dollar then def the variable and just prefixing dollar before that and it's printing the value So there are mainly two types of variables available one is user defined variable and the second is environment variables the one we have uh, seen here is like abc equal to 100 or xyz equal to 700 so these are all user defined variables and environment variables are something like the system level mostly variables so that is exported say so for example if you just use env command you can see all the environment variables say for example uh, see the host name is the environment variable and uh, user is an environment variable so these are some of the environment variables available so the main difference is environment variables has the life across all the shells even in the child shell also it will be valid say for example i just define abc equal to 100 and i am switching the shell bin bash and from here if i do dollar abc it won't work and let me come back from here and uh, let me export abc then use slash bin bash then type echo dollar abc 
yes i am getting data value so export command can be used to create environment variables so if you define an environment variable so that will work in the child shell also so next is uh, like if you want to store the output of any unix command to a variable so how to do that uh, say for example uh, date one equal to say for example i have the date command so that will print current date and time so i want to store the output of this file into a variable so i can use it say for example if abc equal to date if i use so it won't execute this command and store the result so now if i do so dollar abc so it's just the string date is stored so if I want to execute this command and the output I want to store in a variable, I can use so abc equal to backcode date and then backcode. Then type echo dollar abc, you will be getting that result. So the backcode or backtick is the character which is available just below your escape key in your keyboard. And you can see one more option like so def equal to dollar then parenthesis then use the command okay so this is a unix command and it will execute this unix command and whatever the results or output will be stored into def right so this way you can get the output from any unix command so you can so the date is the one of the simple use case or you can have any unix command or command uh, any other shell script or any executables you can execute and get that result into this variable so that's it uh, basic about the variables so we will see more about the variables when we do couple of coding exercise so from the variable perspective so we need to uh, understand few things like the variables should start with an alphabetic it should not start with a numeric value so and also one common mistake people do is this space so you should not leave the space between the variable and value and assignment operator and also the variables are case sensitive so mainly two types of variables are there user defined variables or we call that as local variable and environment variables so local variable has the life only in the current shell but environment variable is valid in the child shell as well so you can use export command to export a variable to an environment variable so that's it about the variables hope you enjoyed the learning and continue in the next video thank you for watching please do subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye.